Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. In a moment, we will be on devotional number 12. I also will be showing you some progress on my purple afghan, the ripple one, and my Felix blanket. Alright, what I want to do is take a few moments to pray. If you have any prayer requests, please drop them in the back down below so we can all pray for you and be made aware of each other's prayer needs. Joanne Shute has asked that prayers are said for her husband. They discovered that his cancer was back. It's in his kidney. So may the Lord comfort them at this time. And also my daughter, she is suffering from such bad headaches. She's already had like three last night. She took 10 shots last night. Today she's already had two or three again. She's in the middle of one right now as we speak. So let's go to our Father in prayer for these people. Heavenly Father, we bring up um, Joanne and her husband. Lord, the cancer has found its way back into his body. Lord, we pray that you comfort them. Give them hope, Lord. Strengthen their faith. Lord, be with them as they're going to go through the test and all the things that will entail. Lord, we pray for total recovery for him, Lord. Lord, we also pray for my daughter, Trish. Lord, she is suffering these migraine headaches so intensely. Um, her oxygen tanks are coming tomorrow, thank goodness. That will give her some much-needed relief. Lord, I pray that you direct the doctors in each one of these people's lives, that they will do their best through you. And Lord, if at all possible, we ask for miraculous healing. In Jesus' name, we humbly uplift these two people in prayer. Amen. All right, everyone, every, everybody, the devotional is up next. Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back to my channel. I want to take a few moments to talk to you a little bit before we get started on my devotion for today. And I've been thinking back to when I first started my channel and what I wanted it to convey. And it's kind of a story about my devotion to God. I like to talk about what I like to do, crochet as you, and I like to just chit chat and um, answer prayer requests and hear what you're thinking. And I was thinking about maybe doing some cooking or doing something else to come on, but then I thought, you know what, I have to be me and I cannot be doing everyone else is doing on YouTube. We have some fantastic people out there. They have huge giveaways. They have great crochet lessons. Um, they really, you know, they have like thousands of members. And I got to thinking when I first started, like, oh, can't wait to see my numbers grow. And this is going to be great. And no time at all, I'll be up to 5,000. That's going to be so cool. Well, as it turns out, it's a year later, or maybe two, and I'm staying at around 663, which is fine. Now, I know not everybody that has subscribed has stuck around, and but the ones that have stuck with me and made the comments and prayed for me, and I prayed for you, that is what I'm focusing on. It's not the numbers, it's the content that each YouTuber brings to their own channel to make it theirs. And I cannot afford to give huge amounts of yarn away. I can't afford the shipping. And um, there's just a lot of things that I want to share about myself. My love for the Lord being first. And I love showing you my crochet projects and point, pointing you to some um, things that you may have not seen and think, wow, that looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to try that too. And I'm just a person here in Rochester, Michigan, living with my husband, Ron. Pretty soon this summer, hopefully, we're going to hope to find a puppy or a dog, one or two years old, we're going to adopt. 
And that will be a whole new chapter of our lives. And I love showing you the progress on the things that I make. And most of all, I love talking about God. I love doing these devotions. I love doing the Bible book overviews. That is a well that will never run dry. And I just love you all so much for being a part of my channel. And I just kind of wanted to share with you my thoughts and my ideas and what this gal is doing in Rochester, Michigan. All right, everyone, let's get to our devotion today. You see that okay? My hope is pinned to the cross. I think that's a pretty good place for our hope to be pinned to. I want to read your devotion. The conversation with the man sitting next to me on the flight from Atlanta was a bit unsettling. When he found out that I'm a Christian, he said, my wife's into that sort of thing. No offense to you, but I think religion's just a security blanket. No one has ever been able to prove God's exist, and there's no evidence that anything lives on after death. I wanted to argue with him, but thought it would be futile. So I turned to look out the windows. The view was only solid gray, unbroken clouds and emptiness, void of everything. It had rained the whole week while I was in Atlanta, coloring my mood as gray and opaque as today's sky. After an hour or so of depressive inner grumbling, I reminded myself that the blue sky, sun, patchwork earth, trees, and houses still existed. Despite their indivisibility to me, they still existed. Finally, near the end of the flight, I turned to my seatmate and said, You know, no human being has ever been able to weigh and measure love or show where people or show where hope resides in the body. Yet, every day the stirrings of the heart make their invisible presence known. They testify to the reality of the unseen. Mm-hmm, mumbled the man as he returned to his newspaper. Then startlingly, the gray veils parted as we began our descent into Omaha, Nebraska, revealing the April green fields brown rolls of hay, blue water, and bug-like cars on plaid streets, all testifying to the reality of what which was so recently invisible and unprovable. As my seatmate gathered up his things, he glanced past me out the window, smiled, and said, Just look at all that sunshine. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? It would be wrong to read too much into his parting remark, but for me, that moment still shines with the essence of the divine like newly polished gold. God of all creation, please keep me aware this day of your shining presence in all things. My hope is pinned to the cross. Now, we as Christians believe in the unseen. In fact, Jesus said, Blessed, of those, blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe. I don't have to see it to believe it. I have great faith, and I hope you do too. All right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed that lesson for today on our devotion. My hope is pinned to the cross. All right, just a little bit to show you today. Um, my daughter and I went to a store in our area, or her area, called Ollie's. Ollie sells things at a nice discount, and there's also a big lot nearby that also offers nice discounts on things. Well, when we were at Ollie's, um, my daughter and I always go look at the kitchen towels. Well, she scooted off to do that while I was looking at something else. And she came back because Colleen, our caregiver for our dear Tyler, uh, she wanted me to make her some more dish towels. And this is what we found. This says, Just Peachy. Isn't that pretty for, for spring and summer? And this one here has strawberries on it. 
Look how pretty that is. Let me open up this one so you can see the peach. Of course, I have to. Let me see if I can do it this way. Oh, well, let me snip it. Sometimes they put these things on really hard. Here we go. All right, here we go. Just peachy. Now I'll be able to get two towels out of this. Because these are thicker. If there's thicker, a thicker towel, I definitely can get two towels, toppers out of it. If they're very, very thin, I don't cut them in half to do it. But I thought those were very appropriate. And I think I have some really pretty, um, I don't know if I'm going to use peach or green. There's a lot of choices to choose here. Maybe the... Maybe this or, or this color here to come back with. And, of course, the strawberries. I think I'm going to come back with red for the strawberries. So, I have those to get started in the next couple of days. I've been trying to do a little bit of crochet every day on something that I'm going to be making for gifts. Oh, and these towels, they were only $3.99. Regular price, $6.99. That's not bad for a kitchen towel. I try to watch at Kohl's in my area, especially, you know, after each season, like Easter, Christmas, Valentine's Day, they sometimes reduce them to like 50% off, and that's really a good deal. All right, I've been working on my afghan here. I must admit, I haven't done much since the last time we talked. Um, I picked this back up today. I'm going to be trying to do at least four to six rows a day on that one. And I think it's coming out really gorgeous. I think this will, one will be for my daughter's birthday coming up next January. Sometimes we have to plan out these things way in advance, especially if they're the bigger items. Now, this is the Felix blanket that I've been working on. Okay, let me get, here we go. All right, this here. Okay, here's a Felix blanket. Actually, let me turn it around. I got most of my ends woven in. All right, so as you can see, it's building upward for the height. And like I said, in this pattern, you go from the right block, left, right, left, right, left, right. And my next one will go out this way. This is such a fun pattern, and yesterday I did put the link in that you might want to go check it out. Like I said, once you get your head wrapped around this, as soon as I get this as large as I, it needs to be, then I'll start another section off this way and go up again. And you keep doing that and keep connecting it until you meet the other side, and then you do another straight edge. Isn't that cool? I'm just loving this. But look at that pink variegated. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. I think this was mainstay yarn. I'll have to check my label on that one. But yeah, I'm just using up all my scraps. So each day I do at least two sides. Maybe more if I really... It, it's like potato chips. You can't just stop it. Okay, I got that one on. Oh, I'm going to do this one because it goes so quickly. It's amazing how quickly it goes. And... It's a good idea to use that, that stash yarn, which I told my husband. I'm using all my stash yarn. He goes, oh, good. You got a lot. <laughs> you know, I, I think with women, it's just, you know, we love the fibers. We love the colors. We love to have a nice amount of choices um, when we go to our stash to work out of. And I do have several nice ones. And, um... I do love the Bloom Yarn by Premier. I'll probably grab that one tomorrow and show it to you. Um, I'm not going to take time to do that right now because I'm trying to keep my day structured. Well, listen, you all have a blessed day in the Lord. And remember to keep your hope pinned on Jesus. And we live by faith, right? And the Lord will bless us. Because we believe without having to see.
All right, everyone, take care. Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another great devotional. Bye, everyone.